What it really needs in here is a jolly good dust. On the whole, everything isn't too bad, but I'm afraid, oh dear, a little bit too much on the wardrobe. A very nice young man gave his seat up, or attempt to, and this girl looked at him and went, oh, no, thank you. And, you know, she could have just said, I'm getting off at the next stop, but thank you, yeah. you know, graciously. Sheba, I don't think you actually believe the values of a finishing school. I'm afraid you're going to have to leave straight away. An American princess should be somebody who's got presence. When she arrives in a room or at a function, everybody notices her. Welcome to New York. This is Kirsten. Thank you. Oh, gosh. A little bit formal with the doorman, I would say, wouldn't you? <laughs> Jean Broke Smith has spent her entire life grooming debutantes to lead a life of leisure, free from the burden of social embarrassment. Push down here, tucking your seat in first. She's about to face the biggest challenge of her 30 year career Jodie Marsh. We don't want to see too many royal knickers, do we? <laughs> yes. So that would not be right for the palace. So, just come to the edge of the seat there, two feet together there, and then out of the car you get. So everything is close together. Let me see you get out of your car now. <laughs> That's better. That's the correct way to get out of a car if you're a lady or a princess. First of all, I would say that I think you look a delightful couple, but you do look an odd couple. Um, I would take that hat off straight away, because if I was offering you a job, you look to me like a 12-year-old. Yeah. Um, you, you, you agree with that? Yeah, yeah, take your hat off. God, I wouldn't employ you. I wouldn't even let you... Take your hat off the moment. Take your hat off. Take your hat off. I'm saying... Mark, take your hat off. Right. There you go. <laughs> and I do really resent it if I'm with a man and he grabs the menu and mm. starts and, and, and also takes over. You know, it's just... Offering a menu, offering your seat, mm. and I'm also and paying for it at the end. And that paying help, for it. That's, it? Yeah. Well, that's another <laughs> thing. That a lot of women think that they should pay the bill. If somebody takes me out. I want them to pay the bill. Absolutely. Am I wrong? You know, it's not really worth eating something if you're. I call it transit eating. You're walking along with a, a box of food. Or pizzas. I'm fed up now with seeing youngsters walking along the road at school times, dangling a, a chunk of pizza. Cobwebs. They're everywhere. They've gone mad in this house. When I open the cupboard, there are three hangers for my things. Not even a trouser hanger. And there's a mass of clothes. I'd rather have my things... I'm renting this room. I don't need somebody else's clothes in here. And in fact, I hate to say it, but it smells rather frowsy. Here we are in the bathroom, which I think is, is sweet. No problem at all. Shower, everything fine. Wait for it. We all know Jean never lets anyone get off that lightly. Only one thing. I think that perhaps the floor really needs a good deep clean. And also, I'm a real fusspot. Because I like bags in bins. Mm. Yes. You know, because you know, it's just, it's a little bit empty there, and I felt I didn't want to put tissues in there because, you know, I messed yes. it up. Hello, Rachel. Hello. Come and sit down. News of Rachel's outburst has reached Jean Broke Smith, and she's been summoned to the principal's office. I think you look fantastic. Do you? It, it looks softer and it looks certainly more the way that I wanted you to be okay. because the other way was very brassy. We've discussed your merits and we have a mixture of good and bad news. Hayley. Hmm. Hayley has had a mixed week. She made a good impression at the party. Your attitude this morning was unbelievable. We said something and you had an answer back. You have been saved by your appearance last night. You did well. And you can stay. Walk across to there. Sit down without uh, falling on the floor. You have a bit of a ploddy walk, but the plod must stop. Nobody's actually jumped out at me and said, I am here, I want to win. Carolyn. Carolyn. I think she did terribly well today. At the, re I, at the reception I, lineup. Yeah. She did. I, I think she's dim. Do you? 